Hello again, friends. We meet once again on this glorious day. Oh, I just love it. What wonderful temperatures. I have some delicious tea here to sip. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to have a little sip now before we begin. I love doing that. I'm sorry it's cringe, but I just can't resist. Anyways, so I thought today I would talk about what to do as Western culture declines, what to do with the destruction of the West, how do you as a person function, cope, and even thrive in an environment where we're approaching civil decay like we've never seen before, where all is effectively lost. And let's be clear here, everything is lost. The West, as we know it, as it exists, it's done. It is a concept doesn't exist anymore. Like, let's be clear. You, you can fight it all you want, but at the end of the day, the West is in decline. The West is over. Whatever the next social or political hegemony will be, will be there. Who knows what that turns into? Either, you know, some sort of bug man, communist, you know, artifice or artificial construct, or, you know, maybe some sort of political system we don't know. Whoever is strongest probably is going to be the answer, because at the end of the day, Primordial truths are all that matter. You can philosophize all you want, but blood, steel, thunder, and death. Those are the things that actually control what happens on the larger geopolitical scale. And I imagine that's what's going to happen in the near future. So what do you do in the West now? What do you do as a white man, a white man in current year? How do you succeed? And of course the answer is, you get yours. You get yours, and then you do what you need to do to get away. Now, where do you go? That's that's a question and a half, isn't it? But that's that's for another video. Maybe I'll talk about you know where to go, what to do. But for now, what I think needs to be very important to everyone is to get yours. Take what you can from the system. Be it you know get your spurg money, bank it all away, have a nice trust fund, whatever you got to do. But get yours, get your bag. You know if you got a play the crypto markets, if you've got to work two jobs and then, you know, summarily quit them both once you reach a certain threshold where your, your dividend payments cover your living expenses, go ahead. Do whatever you have to do, because in the next coming years, you need to get yours and you need to chill. Like, just get your bag and then do whatever you want with your life, because society is going to fall apart around you, so you might as well be in a position to sit back and enjoy I would recommend, if you haven't already, stockpiling food is going to be very important in the near future. I would say at least 100 pounds of rice and beans each, you know, preferably closer to 300, just so you have a couple years supply of the bare necessities. Worst comes to worst, you know, have some method of collecting rainwater, have some idea of, you know, escape routes, have some weapons if you are in a place where you don't feel safe or, you know, what have you. Certainly consider investing in weaponry to defend what you've got, because people will be coming if things hit rock bottom for yours. Now, is it going to get that bad? Probably not, let's be real here. It's an exciting fantasy, but the West's decline is going to look like a lot of the other declines, where you know, the barbarians will come in, and then a new social hegemony will come, and the social orders and values will shift drastically. So we're going to lose the ideas of Judeo-Christian beliefs, and they're going out the window. And what does that entail? Who knows? Currently, like, if China wins, for instance, which is the primary contender for, you know, the next global hegemony, uh, they've got values like genociding the Uyghurs and things like that. So, you know, who knows what the bug man might do if the world is in fact theirs. And if it is, let them have it. I will be off doing my thing. And, you know, for a lot of people, that means looking towards off-the-grid living or some sort of solution like that, which is also great. For a number of other people, it might be something along the lines of, you know, leaving the states entirely and going to the third world and living like a king. That's also a very good option. You know, for a lot of people, it could be, you know, and just hiding out in society. Hiding in plain sight is never a bad idea. Pretending to be an NPC. If you can't, uh, for instance, go for one of the better, more isolationist options, Start hiding in plain sight and just chill. Just chill, my dude. 
at the end of the day, no matter what, you have to get yours. You have to get away and some method to protect yourself. You know, if you don't have at least a couple of Tupperwares of, you know, quality grains stored away, it's time to really start considering investing in that before it gets too expensive and too late. Soon the economy is about to go haywire, and, and then what do you do, right? You can't wait until it's already hit the fan to start pre preparing for it. And yeah, you know, people will call you a prepper and all of this crazy jargon or whatever, or, you know, apocalyptic, but at the end of the day, it's about peace of mind. And, you know, you're going to go through the rice either way. Let's be clear here. I'm going to eventually eat my stockpile of rice. You know, as I eat from it, I replenish what I eat. And, you know, I make sure nothing expires. I try and prioritize that and prioritize making meals out of things that may expire within the next year. But other than that, you know, it's not really a lot of management and it's a lot of peace of mind. If I choose to continue existing in the post-apocalyptic world or the post-Western world, you know, so be it. And who knows when the West or Judeo-Christian values might collapse fully and what might come. I might enjoy it more. It could be a better society. There could be some sort of communist, you know, Chinese utopia coming. Maybe Mao's right and, uh, and all common sense is wrong. We never know. But at the end of the day, I, I imagine it. the entire United States succumbs to urban sprawl, population decline, etc. Looks like uh, Detroit, basically, is the entire United States. I imagine, you know, going forward that there's all sorts of, you know, increased crime and violence and as politicians levy for support from the, you know, urban use and criminal conduct is continued to be, you know, less prosecuted in general, we have things where, you know, that kind of behavior is incentivized and it will grow rampant. So at the end of the day, you just need to get yours, get your bag, and then just enjoy the decline. Just sit back and watch. That should be everyone's modus operandi right now. If you have an IQ above room temperature, is just chilling and letting things burn. If you can help start the fu you know, stoke the fire. For instance, if you're someone that isn't, you know, or is too impulsive to save money or whatever, you can't handle delayed gratification. Uh, take from the system then, you know. Go pretend to be a spurg and get on the tism bucks or something. Like, figure out a way, man. You you have a little bit of time. Now is the time to start, if you haven't already. Figure it out. Go do something to get your bag, to get a nice, safe, secure situation. And then just sit back, and then do nothing. It's a very minimal amount of work to, you know, spend the rest of the West decline in relative luxury, at least for me. I mean, I'm a minimalist, so I don't really need much. I never did. Like, for instance, I enjoyed a dinner today that was, you know, I took a tiny bit of flour, some salt, and water, and just made myself a, a piece of bread and dipped it in uh, some gochujang curry. And that that's like dinner. And, yeah, it's like 300 calories or whatever, but I wasn't hungry, so... She's like, well, I better eat something or else I'm going to have a rumly tumbly if I want to go to Betty Bye. so... Calories in, calories out. But it is what it is, right? You know, and so not everyone has a body like that like uh you know you have your body burns a different amount of calories depending on who you are just by existing like you're how jittery you are and you've got the kicky legs or whatever you know if you've got a high amount of i forget what the term is but if you're like you know one of those jittery people you're going to go through a lot more calories than someone that's sediment and yeah and i am like trying to work out and stuff and get you know swole but not really just for me it's just because i like you know feeling better um, you know, so, eh, let's see, I probably should force myself to eat more, but at the same time, like, it's also an advantage, like, very few people I know that can realistically survive off a thousand calories a day and be okay, okay, so, but I happen to do that without a problem. So that's, that's lucky for me, genetics, unlucky as far as, like, the mating and dating game go, because short, you know, not a lot of anything on you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just not good. But that can't be helped. You know, you play the hand that you're dealt. And I'm, I'm content now these days with my hand. I have my bag, and I suggest if you don't have your bag, figure it out relatively quickly because time is a ticking. The world is a ticking time bomb right now. And soon, you're going to have to face something. So you might as well be one of the ones that it's at least a little bit prepared, right? Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, anarchy, death and destruction out there. T and video games in here. I, I really need to start getting like a wool blanket or something when I do a video like this just to clothe myself in comfiness. Anime girls are great. They definitely make me feel comfy, but not everyone's going to get the imagery or impact it or feel it like I feel it. Like when I feel the warm embrace of an anime girl clutching at me, I know, for instance, I am comfortable. And that might not be true for everyone, but that is definitely true for me. And so with that, I would say, as the West declines, it's time for you to figure it out, buddy. Go now, dude. What are you doing? That, that's, anyways, my skits are rant for the day. Please, for the love of God, get your bag now. I mean it, friends. Now.